Hi, this is a quick introduction into our new Selenium based automation tests. Um, so if you don't want to spend 40 minutes listening to the detailed boring uh, videos on how exactly Selenium works, how we use an unit and how our unit, uh, our framework works, works behind the scenes. If you want to just use it or figure it out by yourself, all the details, um, this video is for you and it's a it's a good start um, so where the tests leave they now live in the catalyst repo um, under integration tests folder from the root so this is the solution you would want uh, to open it's a separate solution from catalyst enterprise um, intentionally um, once you open it uh, there are three major projects assuming you want to do something uh, you want to write a new community test this is what you do you create a new folder suppose uh, you want to write uh, a test for the home page uh, folders with all tests must live in folders folders uh, should be named consistently for example uh, and end with the word tests so home page tests okay um, the only exception is test helpers and ignore temp but uh, we'll see this helpers in a minute the easiest way to get started is to create a test using one uh, one of our templates that uh, come with the solution already so if you go to add new from template uh, for you it will be for the first time users it will be more you can choose integration test template community or admin so say I choose community here the quick name um, tests should be small so they should be targeted and meaningful so I'm gonna give it a meaningful name I want to test reply to me feature on home page this is the name of my test class or test suite and it creates a very basic test class with uh, a couple of examples of tests and how to use Selenium in our framework. Quick overview. It automatically pre-populates or marks up the uh, test fixture with three categories, which is a project name, your the namespace, full namespace, and your username from Visual Studio. We want to retain those categories, but feel free to add more automatically inherits everything from our base class and gives you a couple of examples okay uh, and let me let me pause and come back with a little bit more okay we're back uh, with the draft of uh, the first portion of the test so what you see here is login into the community with a test user of a role of your choice it could be you know support uh, all of the roles. Um, we compose a somewhat arbitrary but pretty unique uh, text for the discussions uh, uh, title and the description and we call our helper uh, to create this discussion it gives us back the ID and we say go back to the detail page there and uh, create a root contribution as uh, while you're still a facilitator and remember that root, root post ID okay let me pause okay we're back and um, on top of that now we're gonna log in as a member the, the login will automatically log out first uh, we're creating another kind of unique text for the contribution uh, content and we're saying go back to that detail page with a discussion ID we remembered from the top and reply to the contribution to the root contribution we originally created so let's compile and let's actually uh, just debug that so what we're gonna do we're gonna just do the usual n unit uh, debugging what happens is uh, a test instance of the Chrome browser which is our default browser launches um, 
actually did I, I didn't set any breakpoints so you will see it real time so this discussion created made live root contribution made logged out now we're logging in as a member we went to the details uh, 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 went to the details page and we contributed to uh, we added a post to the root contribution and nothing failed therefore it's success so far uh, let me pause the video and come back Okay, so in that uh, first portion of the test, we sort of prepared our data. As a facilitator, we created a discussion, we created a root contribution, and then as a member, we replied to it. Now we want to log back in as a facilitator and make sure that on the home page that reply from member shows up in facilitator's replies to me. Um, so we just need to you know, log in and parse the content, find that piece and make sure it is what it's supposed to be. Um, so the way you would do it normally, you would inspect the elements and depending on what, you know, what, what you want to do is uh, you'll find, you'll probably craft um, a query either XPath or class-based or ID-based to find the element uh, you want to, to test for. So in this case I wanna what I want to do is just find that uh, the original the text for the post from the member because it's pretty unique so if I find that and make sure it's under replies to me section somehow that I'm pretty sure it made it there so the thing is that this paragraph doesn't have a unique idea or class it's pretty generic so uh, I'm gonna craft a an X path which leads kind of all the way from um, uh, this is a good probably this is gonna be a good start list replies dash list container and all the way here and etc and let me pause and we'll look at the code okay so this is the code uh, uh, first of all we now log back in within the same test session as a facilitator and we um, call our extension on Selenium API uh, which says find me all elements uh, DOM components on the page with this X path and it, the X path just believe me it works but it starts with uh, this thing here and it leads all the way so it's any UL element with class, blah, 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 article section, you know, all the way to paragraph with the same class that we see here. Okay. And then, uh, so we got, that's going to be N elements because there could be more than one uh, reply. And we're making our final N unit assertion, which is make sure that there is at least one element where the inner text this this is equal to what we created in the uh, up top in the reply text okay and uh, if it fails this is the nice message that uh, n unit will will show so let's compile and let's uh, let's run that to make sure it works Logging in as facilitator to prepare our data. Uh, we're creating a, a brand new discussion. Uh, I'm going to add a root contribution. Logging in as a member. Going to the details page. Answering. Logging back in as a facilitator. Analyze content on the home page. Found it. Um, so it's a success. That's a quick intro. If you want to learn more, uh, watch the rest of the videos or ask questions or just browse around. There's a lot of interesting tests um, in the suite already. Mm, and see you around. Bye.